Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to show you how to launch Gmail automatically. In, pre in my previous video, I have shown how to launch Facebook, launch Facebook automatically. In this video, I am going to show you how to log into Gmail automatically using Group Vision. First of all, create an object in your Group Vision. I have already created one object in Gmail test one. So now created, then click on right click on the object, then create an object using this. You click on your Gmail test one. Okay. After opening your account, here is an option called Application Modular. Here, so click on the application. Define a new application model for this. Click on Next. Then Gmail is a browser-based application. For this, I'm selecting this option. Click on Next. You click on this button or you can select this also a browser which is already running in this you can give any type of browser like applications like chrome or mozilla firefox i will mention <coughs> the internet explorer for this if you want to change this you can browse and select the location where you have installed your chrome or mozilla firefox there you can select the, your browser then click on next here you have to enter the home page of your url for this have already put your page gmail login page copy this link then paste the link here it will show after launching your gmail it will show your login page click on next and click on finish now you are logging to the Gmail account for this. I am mentioning the username. Click on launch. It will show this home page URL. Why? Because I selected this link and uh, pasted in the application modeler. Then it will launch here. Then click on identify. Then take your mouse button to the email or phone. Click on control and left mouse button. Then a pop up will appear here. Click on highlight. It will highlight what you have selected. Then click on apply. Again, add element. Next, identify. Then again, control and left mouse key. Then highlight this and click on apply. Okay. The purpose I have selected this is while we log into Gmail, we, we will enter the username and click on next. For that, I have spied these two elements. Then go to your action but action page. Then click on the navigate. Here you have to drag to the Gmail created object here and click on the launch. It will launch your uh, Gmail page. Then click on OK. Then drag the right tab here. When you use the right but writer tab, you have to use the data icon for writing the data. Here, it is two. Okay. Select the data item. I mentioned the username. The username will be in the text format. For this, I am selecting the data type as text and giving my email ID. Then click on OK. In this writer button, click on the text, drag the username here, the value, and the element you have created here. Then click on OK. With this, 
it will go to the home page of the gmail then enter <laughs> your username there and we have already styled the element next for this again click on the navigate then drag the next element here and we have to mention the click center you click the next button then click on ok after that after that it will need the next tab for spying and entering manually Again, we have to spy this element, your password and the next button for this. You have to again click the application modular, then add the element. You can add here, add element, then password, identify, click on identify. I'm opening this. Okay, and again, control, left mouse button, it will again show a pop up. Then highlight this. Then apply. Again, you have to add an element. Click on next. Again, click the identify button. Control right. It will show a pop up. Then highlight this. Then click on apply. Click OK. So after this, we have to open your object studio. Then click on the right button. After clicking the right button, you have to take the data item. Here mention the password. And take the data the data pack password. You mention your password here. Then click on your right tab. And drag your password here. And element which you have created here. Then click on OK. Then again drag your navigate button here in this you have to drag your next element click on action click center the purpose of selecting this click center is for uh, clicking on the next button ok now I am clicking the wait use the navigate button then you have to use the wait button depending on your internet connection I use the three navigate buttons for this purpose I am using three buttons click on the link link to every tab or to a given you can mention any kind of time for this I am mentioning Seven seconds. Based on the interim connection speed. Okay. Now close all your browser tabs. Then run your program.
page is taking you to your Gmail login page. Enter your username and it automatically click on the next button. See guys, it has automatically lo logged into your Gmail account. Also you can uh, ping to any of your friends using this process. Thank you guys. See my video. If you have any doubts, don't forget to comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.